Hello, good morning. It's Monday, the start of a new day, the start of a new week. Let us give thanks to God for this new day that God has made. Let us give thanks to God for this new week that lies open before us. Let us give thanks to God because God is with us and God loves us. And whatever will happen today or tomorrow throughout this week, God remains with us. God continues to love us. Over the coming weeks, um, the pattern of these videos is going to change uh, to give some of us a bit of a, uh, a time to rest and recharge our batteries. We've been doing these uh, daily videos for uh, four months now. The video started at the start of lockdown and as we get used to restrictions being uh, eased, being lifted, uh, we're going to reassess what it is that we need to be doing. But don't worry, there will still be videos um, over the next five weeks at least. Uh, we're going to have a couple of videos each week um, on a Monday and a Friday, as well as some pictures and other prayers on the Facebook page too. But for the next five weeks, we're going to listen to some of Jesus' teaching about how we are to play our part within God's desire for the world. How we play our part within God's kingdom. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus offers these blessings, these statements called the Beatitudes, the beautiful attitudes, which both encourage us and challenge us to consider God's desire for the world, what God wants for our world, even, even now, even at this strange time in history. Today, from Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit, he's not just referring to people who are poor materially, financially. Jesus is talking about people who are fully aware of their need for God. As human beings, we sometimes like to think that we can cope by ourselves. We sometimes long to be in control of all that's going on in our lives. Over the last four months, many of us have learned or been reminded that we cannot control all that is going on and we cannot cope just by ourselves. Those of you who know me well and perhaps those of you who don't know me so well uh, may guess that this is something that I struggle with sometimes but the reality is the truth is that we need one another and we need God. As we move beyond this time of lockdown, we need to remember what we have learnt over the last few months. We cannot do it all by ourselves. We do need one another and we do need God. Jesus says, be blessed when you admit, when you acknowledge that you need God. It's not a sign of weakness to admit that you need God. Rather, Jesus says, be blessed when you acknowledge that you need God. Blessed are you, blessed are you, when you know that you need God. It is in those moments, in these moments, at a time like this, when we admit that we need God, that we see God's kingdom come in our world. So I invite you to pray with me those words that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer, which includes that line, that God's kingdom might come. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a prayer of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.